Welcome to video number two. We're going to be using the Hercules inch and an eighth carbide tip hole cutter. Thank you to Project Farm for posting the video about these. This is going to make life a little easier, hopefully. I've worn out my big twist bit, so I went and got an inch and an eighth bit, which is plenty big for what we're doing now. I don't think there's any, I didn't see any kind of chart in here that tells you what speed to run your equipment at, but I just went for a stun instead of warp. I have two speeds, warp and stun, so we've got some oil on there, we've got clamped down with some, again, Harbor Freight clamps. There's a good chance I'm going to have to turn the steel bar over because this is only good for three sixteenths of an inch thick and this is yeah, it's a quarter inch thick so I'll have to turn it over. Not a big deal so here we go. a very nice groove, a very nice hole. I'm very happy with it. I am using the world's cheapest drill press I got from a flea market, so. Okay. It's time to flip it over. Super duper clamping system. Okay, now we're on the second side. So far so good. I'm really liking this new this new cutter. And yeah, we're through. There's our plug. And actually, this, this is a nice little plug if you needed to make a little, little train wheels or something. Um, little car wheels if you wanted some steel wheels. This may not be a bad, bad way to do it. Um, so, there's a little plug from that. And here's our inch, inch and an eighth hole. We got three quarter. This hole here is... This hole here was already here when I got this, this piece of steel from a flea market booth. It just sells random chunks of steel. And I go there all the time and I just, this was $4. I picked up a couple of these. I picked up some other stuff. Just add it to the collection. You never know if it comes in handy or not. But there's, there's a hole. Very nice hole. Um, the only downside is, is you're limited to depth. A twist drill, of course, you could go a lot farther. This is limited to depth, so make sure you check your thickness. Um, cutting capacity on this bit. This says 3 16 Luckily, you go halfway through, flip it over, and go the other way through. If there's any thicker, you know, you would not be able to drill all the way through. With this bit from Harbor Freight, you would have to get a more expensive bit somewhere else. But I'm very impressed with this. We'll cut the second hole and get this mounted to the excavator. Large pair of Knipex. Fairly good sized crescent wrench. Tighten this bracket down. This is just a temporary bracket. I don't want to start welding until I know this is going to work. Do something like this. Just to kind of hold it in place a little bit. Fine tune it. I just got to be careful that I'm testing not to ram this up into the 
lines of the cylinder. It's kind of dangerous close right here, but so the next step I need something to attach here back to the stick to stabilize this. So I'll go through my scrap metal pile and uh, see what I can find. This 4x4 post just sitting here to give me a guide. I want to be able to curl and pick up a 4x4 or a small log. So again, this is all scrap. This is all just scrap metal. Stuff I got laying around. Stuff I bought. And like this, a couple of these little pieces I bought from the flea market. Um, and I just grabbed them. I had no idea what I was going to use them for. And they were four bucks. This was twenty-four dollars for the blue piece here. Um, we'll cut the angle and make it fit real nice for a, a thumb. But right now, I just want to do a temporary clamping system just to see if it works. Back to the drill press, and uh, we'll keep making progress. It was just a quick nut and bolt job, and um, and we'll put a chunk of ladder down. That's an old steel ladder salvaged from a warehouse, so we'll see what happens. Definitely, it has potential. Like I said, we'll, we'll get something welded up in here. We'll get something welded up here so this is more stable. Um, thank you for watching, and um, we'll just keep on keeping on. All right, bye bye. I have no idea what this piece of metal is. If anybody has any clue to what this is, uh, Leave it in the comments below, please.